Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be <clears throat> General Tarot and Lenormand reading for Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly reading for that matter for the duration of September 24th to September 30th 2018 and while I, I, I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading for the star sign of Aries this is not your personal reading uh, <clears throat> for personal readings uh, where um, I will make sense of the cards for you uh, you can check out my website uh, listed down below in the description of this video or simply make an inquiry on my uh, on my email which is as well written down below in the description of this video <clears throat> and uh, yeah there we are going to discuss you know your situation and we'll make the, the sense of the cards for you now I will explain what the card means what is the synergy in between them but it is it falls to you to make the sense of them so <clears throat> that being said we're going to the tarot spread first and one more thing you know as it is the end of the summer there is a, a summer sale and going in, uh, going on which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes um, purchase so uh, we are going to do a four card tarot spread now the first card here is about the topic of your Aries this week then the second card is about the core of the situation or what feeds the topic why the topic is happening then we do have the third card which is the challenges that you have to overcome <clears throat> and the last one uh, is the um, guidance the tarot has to offer uh, to you for that particular week so let's see what you got here now we do have the Emperor card as the topic of the week so it does look like that this week is going to be very solid solid is the word that the Emperor goes with because as a topic this card points that you are about to regain control upon a lot of fields uh, in your life control over your relationship control over your uh, career as well as uh, placing not exactly the priorities but the responsibilities you need to attend to into a strict plan into a strict order and start uh, toiling and dealing and coping with them uh, as best as you can and um, this particular state here as the Emperor suggests is going to quite evaluate you in the eyes of those who are placing assessments to you so you can expect a uh, rather high assessment from uh, from your supervisor or from your boss or uh, in case your partner for example into your relationship kind of uh, lost prospect or that they have lost rather sense of uh, sense of trust in you that you can be responsible and mature into your relationship this is going to be fixed for the duration of this week the emperor is about ruling uh ruling all that you do have around you therefore this week it is where you rather should not kind of be prone to making risks the emperor doesn't make risks the emperor rules with iron hand betting only on what the emperor can gain therefore uh, a shady schemes you know shady deals or schemes etc etc or un uh, or kind of vague deals as well or or vague activities into your relationship should should be something that you have to avoid as well uh, then the next card here it is about the core of the situation that will be the eight of pentacles and for what it seems this card points that very strongly I mean that that week is going to be an initiative week for a, a big thing either into your career or either into your relationship for those singles that card points that this week it is the week where they have to kind of take the responsibility of their singularity acknowledge that singular life it is not a life to be led and uh, they need to open themselves once again for the world so they can receive love this is just for those who are single but the eight of pentacles points that the core of the situation here is is that you can make what you want to make the way you you want to make it all right but in order to do so you have to be focused you have to be systematic persistent and consistent as well 
so you can actually shape your reality the way that you want to do it especially talking about career and in general something that you are uh, chasing you know as a career path you know or a particular relationship status etc etc you have to be prone to first attend to the minor things this is what responsibility means and afterwards when you actually fix the minor predicaments or the minor details there then you can actually focus upon the uh, grand scheme of things the thing here is that you need to master your approach toward the situation career wise or relationship wise in order to do so you have to be meticulous and as i said consistent consistent the challenges that you have to overcome here we do have the page of pentacles a very curious card to have into this uh, particular um, into this particular reading because the because the second name of the Page of Pentacles is consistency. The second name of the Page of Pentacles is being meticulous. And therefore you have to be such. But the, the, the appearance of that card here as a challenge is points that it will be challenging for you to do so. Now what we talked about here is the topic aka the aims then we do have the foundation here aka the core of the situation. But that doesn't mean that you will have the necessary mindset in order to do so. And as we can see here with the Page of Pentacles, somehow the focus upon a, a concentrating goal, it will be a difficult for you. Maybe because there will be a lot of things which are into the peripheral fields of your life uh, will kind of require not demand but require your attention and that's why you know you may find yourself quite scattered instead of being focused and instead of being devoted into one specific goal because this is how the page of pentacles sits here a challenging uh, it will be challenging for you to kind of like exert a, a devotion toward a, a specific goal. On a more superficial meaning, the card points that it will be challenging for you to kind of keep close, um, closer eye upon your... Um, <clears throat> upon your things uh, and under things possessions it is what I'm trying to say here upon your possessions and that doesn't mean that you're gonna be robbed in any way but for some reason this week you may kinda experience a, a leak of resources either financial or pure material as time you know or comfort etc etc for unknown reason that's why you need to kinda be systematic as the um, Emperor suggests here and organized so you can kind of sub to the very minimum uh, the leak of uh, those resources and uh, render you know the cost efficiency here uh, or cost effectiveness here to the bare um, to the bare maximum and then we do have the uh, next card which is the guidance and that is the five of cups now Five of Cups itself as a guidance points that not everything is going to turn out the way you want to turn it out, at least not from the first try. Why? Because the Five of uh, Cups, excuse me, not Pentacles, but Cups, the Five of Cups is the card pointing that even though you may experience loss, this should not discourage you in any case. This should not allow you this should not allow you to kind of lose your self-respect or in other words to think the less of you um, <clears throat> in regards to I am not capable to pull it the way I want it yes you are and um, if the thing doesn't happen from the very first try this card encourages you to try anew because probably you do have certain means or certain capabilities that you have not exerted on the very first try why is that because we do have here a man first of all the man is more prone to look at the three cups which kind of spill themselves down upon the road kind of ignorant for the yet remaining a couple of cups standing and filled up and second of all the man has only one road to take it's the bridge over there which means that you should not deviate from the path that you have consciously taken so whatever goal you do have even if it doesn't budge from the very first try this doesn't mean that the goal is kind of unreachable just on the contrary it may be requires from you to take a little bit different approach toward it or use a, a little bit of a different means in order to get what you are after 
So that was uh, the tarot reading here. Just to summarize while I'm shuffling the Lenormand cards, it does look like that this week is going to be a week where you have to be more mature than usual, to be more controlling as well, you know. There is no time or space for shenanigans, for jokes, for uh, memes as well, if you want to say it that way. But this is a week where you have to work extra hard in order to um, establish, let's say, control upon every single field, relationship, career, you know, private project, private things in your life, while in the same time you kind of devote yourself into a, a goal, which uh, kind of like um, the, the rewards from it or the end result, it will be something from, or with um, material nature like money, you know, like it could be a new home as well, reallocation, etc, etc. So let's see what the Lenormand card has to say now. They will show an event that you, Aries, either should look forward to or try to avoid. Now the first card here is the Clover. The Clover set, sits for a, a minor luck, minor success, petite. Then we do have the moon which sits for fame and recognition so a, a minor recognition is what we do have here then is the is the road so a minor recognition is what you're going to have from a, a well-made decision well-made choice or taking on a, a different approach so the different approach is going to uh, work out here this is the reassurance from the Lenormand card upon the uh, initial disappointment should I say from um, <clears throat> from the first attempt but it will be very little there very little people there to applaud you for it for you kind of like recognizing you know that you have to adopt a, a different strategy so uh, that being said Aries, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again bear in mind that this is a, a general reading for the star sign of Aries this is not your personal reading so I have explained to you the meanings of the cards their synergy as well but uh, it is up to you or it falls to you to make sense of them if you want me to make sense of these cards for or not these but in general cards you know pulled for a specific questions of yours then that is the subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video or <clears throat> or make an inquiry uh, on my email which is as well listed down below in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye